So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own neural network using Excel with the help of Excel Solver. So we'll be trying to approximate this uh, sine function which takes the angle in degrees as the input and the corresponding sine value will be given as the output. So we know these five values and using this we will be training the neural network. So this is the structure of neural network that I'll be using. We have one input node and one output node. And in between we have hidden layers. This one is this green uh, box one is one hidden layer. These two form the uh, uh, next hidden layer. So for each connection we have a weightage which we have to determine. And for each layer we have a bias value and the transfer function that we are using is sigmoid and for output we use a linear function so if you are familiar with these concepts the basic ones then you can do the neural network or you can make a neural network without programming using the basic excel skills so this is the excel sheet where we will be doing our uh, modeling we have the angle in degrees the expected output these two are taken from here and here I have made this tabular column or tabular representation with the weights bias values these are the 11 values that we have to determine to train our network okay first step is in Excel, it takes the radian values or uh, it uses radian values for calculations. So I'm going to convert this into radians. And before we go any further, although we are not doing any programming, we still need to write a single line of code. This is a single line and you can copy paste it. So function mod So that's the sigmoid function. I just uh, made a VBA code to that. You can pause and copy paste if you are not familiar with the VBA. So here, first thing we need to determine the value of N1, H1. So this is input multiplied by the weightage minus bias and we will apply the sigmoid function. So it is equal to sigmoid. input into the weightage uh, make it raw absolute minus the bias make it the absolute value so this one is n1 h1 uh, here we need to give some random values as a starting so just copy it it in order to avoid regeneration just copy paste as values so next one we need n2 h1 you can just drag it so that one will be the n2 h1 value next we have to find n1 h2 which is n1 h1 into w3 plus n2 h1 into w4 minus the bias value and you will take the sigmoid function of that so sigmoid in order to do the multiplication and addition I use the sum product function just keep this as the input comma 
integrate this as a second array take the absolute of that minus the bias value take the absolute of that and that's that's our n1 h2 now if I drag it here and change these now I have n2 h2 so we have modeled till here the last one that's remaining is a linear function so it's just some product of this comma this the absolute remember the absolute values otherwise it will be giving a wrong answer and we have that which is the output by the network so this is the output given by the network and this is the expected output so you want to minimize the difference between this and this we use the mean squared error and for that we have this function sum x m y2 which is as squares of difference just take this one comma this one okay now we need to minimize this and our model will be undergoing the training process and we will get the optimized weights so here okay First is the objective function, which is this one, and I want to minimize that uh, by changing these values, so these eleven values. Select them all, and select the nonlinear solver and solve. So this is very close, and you see that this one is closer to zero. That's a it will not give the exact answer but it will give very close answers now if I copy this and paste it here okay, let's say I give them 38 so it's saying that sign 38 is 0 0.62 let's check that one we have the sign function in Excel and this is the angle in radians it's 0.615 so our model is giving a very close answer uh, again uh, this is a simple representation of what neural networks can do we are just training the network using five input values or five data sets uh, not data set five data points and we are again okay let me do something else give it zero and give this ten okay so it's from zero to ninety and if you select these values and go to the draw insert graph okay you see that the blue represent the predicted values and red represents the uh, actual values and they are closely resembling so the network is able to approximate the actual values uh, pretty well so you can expand this concept to solve your own problems and here here it's giving a negative value it shouldn't so you can so you can add a function if is less than zero then zero or other otherwise okay, now it should give the 
positive values so again uh, uh, thank you for watching the video you try yourself try different problems using neural networks you don't need expensive softwares and you don't know require deep knowledge of any programming language if you are familiar with the basic excel functions like uh, some product and uh, some x m y this one which is for uh, mean squared error so if you are familiar with this you should be able to make your own neural network